Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of natural selection lectures, this time we are going to talk about the disruptive selection. You can call it disruptive selection or disruptive natural selection. Uh, so, whatever it is, but we are going to discuss about the disruptive selection. We have already talked about the st stabilizing selection as well as directional selection. If you want to uh, watch it, you can watch that uh, lectures separately. So, let us talk about the disruptive selection. What happens in disruptive selection? So, like every single type of natural selection, there should be a selection pressure based on which or upon which an organism is selected. And the organism selected means the best fit organism selected. The best evolutionary fit organism means the organism can survive till the reproductive age. It will produce more number of offspring and it has the capability to make those offspring survive till their reproductive age. So, what we are going to see here again, we are going to see this graph. We have x and y. Uh, so, we are going to see simple example of, of disruptive selection where neither, uh, where the median, where the median characteristics is not preferred, both the extremities or extreme characteristics are preferred. And what such example is provided here with this Himalayan rabbit and in Himalayan rabbit we, we can start here from, from here from this point, uh, we start with black, then what we start with white and we have grey, okay. black, white, grey, these are the three different types that we are going to see. So, normally what happens is that in the Himalayan range there are three colored rabbit, black colored rabbit, white colored rabbit and grey colored rabbit. Now, in Himalayan ranges there are rock and there are some snow, snow and rock combined together. So, rock is in the darker color, snow is in the white color. So, in this environment what happens is that all these three type of uh, rabbits are present. Now, this is all about because the rabbits are prey for different predators. So, predator always try to find rabbit and if a rabbit is in the complete white color, the camouflage of the rabbit is not that easy or not that possible. So, among these three extremities uh, like black, white and gray among these three different properties or color, white is more often pointed out and killed by the predator. So, as white is more often pointed out and killed by the predator, the black survives because it can camouflage, the grey can also survive because it can camouflage. So, the, the population if you are going to look at here, if we start with black and white together, we will see that the white, the rabbit with white color population slowly slowly goes down in number because the predator is going to eat them. And the black colored and white color, uh, black, black colored and gray colored rabbit can camouflage with the rock properly so that they survive. So, this is called disruptive selection, which is also known as diversifying selection. Diversifying or disruptive selection. Why disruptive? Because the median is not selected. It's this selection, disruptive selection is against, it's against the moderate trait or median trait. It's for both extremities. So, both black extremity or dark colored extremity and semi dark, semi dark colored extremity are followed while the moderate character that is white is not followed. In the same case I can tell you for let us say uh, example of squirrel, another example let me give you squirrel. The squirrel in the moderate one mostly the squirrel have moderate size of the tail. So, squirrel with moderate size of the tail, squirrel with long tail, squirrel with short tail. Now, what are the difference between the three is that again the same process the moderate length squirrel are not being selected by the nature. The long tail squirrel and the short tail squirrel are selected. Why? Because the long tail squirrel can use the tail to what? They can use the tail to hang in the uh, trees okay, and can sleep and do things. Short tailed squirrel can run very fast, but the moderate one can neither run very fast, so they, they become easy prey to the predator. Also, it is not useful for them to sleep in the tree or uh, can use it for the sleep in the tree. So, that is why again two different extremities will be selected disrupting the median character, the moderate character. So, disruptive selection, the moderate character is disrupted, the rest extremities are selected. Okay? 
So this is the idea about disruptive selection. I believe you have a clear understanding of what disruptive selection is. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.